So I've been doing a little bit more research on, on the Lin Tractor because oh, I just find it such an amazing, fascinating piece of machinery. Now, when Holman Harry Lin arrived in Morris, New York in 1915, he didn't have much intention of well, you know, getting into the manufacturing business because he was, well, he owned a traveling road show and they had trained dogs and musical entertainment. And in 1904, he had already built a gasoline powered um, vehicle using a single crawler um, track, you know, um, in the rear. And it was the Lombard design because Lynn was at the time representing the Lombard people as a traveling agent. And the ratio tied in nicely with all his journeys to sell his machines to sawmills and for snow removal purposes, which I found quite intriguing because the vehicle was actually designed for in the summertime for hauling logs, and in the wintertime it, was, it had a snow plow put on it, so it was used for clearing the snow. And a, a lot of uh, local councils and that built um, bought the machines for that purpose. Now they used to sell. The chassis, you know, it was open um, or with an enclosed cab, but it didn't have the body to go with it or any steerage. Now, they sold for around $4,650. That was around 1920. And the buyer could either add a sledge steerage or wheel steerage. That was an extra 100 bucks. And if you wanted stake pockets added, that was another 50 bucks. You could also add an Arcadia four-yard dump body. That had a hydraulic hoist uh, for $800. It had, or oh, well, you could have electric headlights, generator, and ba battery. That was 100 bucks. You know, it's sort of one of those machines that, you know, you could add to it. And, and, and by the late 1930s, a Lynn tractor fully equipped and carrying a Frank snowplow listed at nearly $20,000. Wow. So with the dollar having an average inflation rate of 3.15% per year between 1930 and today, that would be equivalent to over $356,000. The Army Ordnance Department purchased 10 of these Lynn tractors, that was in 1935, and they had an, a Hercules engine known as the T6. This was equipped with a PTO winch and used a body similar to the usual two-ton military trucks. They had a top speed of 25 miles per hour, which was a lot faster than they, you know, the ones that they had for, um, that were built for heavy haulage. Now, the Lind um, Swan Song was the 1939 Lind C5 convertible tractor truck, which could be operated as a standard Lind off-road or as a conventional truck. Um, that was, you know, the front wheel drive on those ones uh, while on the road. And then, unfortunately, the C5 came one decade too late as Lynn's main customers, which were the municipal highway departments, uh, well, they started abandoning the, the old Lynn's in favour of the more modern and versatile road building and maintenance equipment. And anyway, shortly after the, war, the Second World War ended, the Lynn quietly withdrew from business. But what an amazing machine. Now, of course, all this information and a lot more um, can be found just by, well, what we all do, just by Googling it. Now, as far as the drawing goes, I'm really enjoying using my fine line pens. I don't get to use them as often as I would like to. It's amazing how things have changed. I mean, there was a time when you could only get black. That's all they had available, you know, for fine line pens. Now, Unipin, and I guess the others have too, have bought out. Um, they've got a brown and a grey. And I find that the grey one is so similar to actually using um, the graphite pencil. Now, because I don't take um, all the graphite out, so I draw over it with the fine line pens, I'm able to take out highlights. I'm just using the eraser there, the electric eraser. And I call this a platinum finish. The main thing what I'm trying to do with the fine line pens is by having three different sort of tones or shades. There's the, the grey, the light, you know, um, the very light grey one, which is like the graphite, is to create contrast. 
and the contrast is the only way we can get dimension when using um, a pencil or uh, an ink pen so you've got the darker well, the pen that which pushes things back and then of course the lighter and there's all varying tones and that's that's what I love about using uh, or drawing in grayscale and I'm always amazed by what you can create with, with just a pencil an eraser and a piece of paper well once again I think it's about that time where I stop talking so depending on what part of the world you're in grab a cup or a glass of your favorite drink put your feet up listen to the relaxing music think about the wonderful weekend ahead and I'll see you in a few minutes
Well, that's most of the foliage done um, in ink. However, I've still got to go back over it and, and put in the, the, the fine detail. So I've made it, I'm going to make it into a two-part video, at least two parts. It may be more, because there is quite a lot to do on it. But I'm enjoying it, and I hope you're enjoying it just as much. What a fascinating machine the Lynn logging tractor is. And I didn't realise, you know, that, that it was used for, for snow ploughing as well in the winter. You know, it's one of those machines that really served its purpose over the years. Now, if you watched last week's video, I mentioned, well, I did a sneak preview on what I was going to be drawing this week, which was the, um, the gas producer, it's called, which was the, well, I don't even see that, but, but anyway, this is all the information that I've got on it. Anna got it from the village for me, so there was, this, <laughs> there was so much to learn and so much to read up on that I just didn't have the time, so that's why I brought the inking of the Lynn Tractor um, forward to this week. Now, if you like what you're seeing and feel you're getting some value, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Because if you liked it, the chances are they're going to like it just as much. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that button, ring the bell, that way you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. Now, don't go away just yet. Click on this video over here next when it gets there. <laughs> I know you're going to love that one as well. Well, that's about it this week, my friends. Stay safe out there. Have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you in the next one.